Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So this today in this video we're going to do chapter six, verse three, and uh, in this one he continues to talk about the difference between karm yoga and karm sanyas, uh, or rather working for with action and working without action, and uh, um, fruitive action. Working with without fruitive action. Uh, sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Working without fruitive action versus not working and just meditating sanyas. Um, so uh, I, I, let's uh, sing the verse together. It's getting a little bit clearer, slowly but surely. It's getting a little bit clearer. Okay. Arurukshur munir yogam karma karana mochate yoga rudhasya tasyaiva shama karana mochate the translation is one who is a neophyte in the who's new bee in a eightfold yoga system work is said to be the means and one who's already elevated cessation of material is said to be the means so yeah so it is uh, uh, basically he's saying that cessation of material activities is something that you do do after a while so you start with karm yoga and then you get to a place where you cease material activities so let's do word by word aru ruksho one who has just begun yoga uh, Mune of the sage or uh, yoga. So the the person who is just the sage who have just begun the yoga system and he says that here uh, the beginning of the ladder, ladder is called yoga ruruksha stage and the highest rung is called yoga rudh. So, um, so in the beginning of the stage there's a ladder system so you go by that. Karm, kar, uh, work is karanam, uh, karanam uchyate is said to be the means. So in the beginning of the stage, karm is said to be the means, work is said to be the means. And then yoga rudha, or yoga rudha is when you are, yoga rudha is one who has attained, who is already very high, very elevated. Uh, tasya, for him, samah, shamaha. Cessation of material activities, karanam, the means is said to be uchate. So for that person who is already elevated, cessation of material activities. So that's why that makes sense when Arjun asked earlier that isn't the sanya supposed to be a higher thing than karma yoga? And then he had said multiple times, no, karma yoga is better. But this is why he's saying that it's a ladder. So karma yoga is don't just go straight into the cessation of material activities. Um, so the process of union with God linking oneself in, uh, with Supreme is called Yoga. It may be compared to a ladder and the ladder begins from the lowest material and rises up to perfect self-realization. So uh, the complete ladder is called yoga and may be divided into three parts. Gyan yoga, Dhyan yoga and Bhakti yoga. The beginning is called yoga rukshan. Um, okay, so I, I'm not sure I understand this part fully, but that's okay. Concerning the eightfold, so yeah, so when we do sitting postures, he's saying that that's not good. It's considered fruitive activities. I am not so sure. All such activities lead to per attaining perfect equilibrium. And then a Krishna conscious is situated in the beginning on because he's always thinking of Krishna. So, but but that is like always thinking of Krishna is not easy either. So, that that is a whole. You have to. It's like constantly meditating on Krishna, and that is. Um, that requires, I suppose, karma yoga. So that I didn't f uh, fully resonate or understand Prabhupada's verse in that case. Okay, so here the translation is a little more direct. To the soul who is aspiring for the perfection in yoga, work without attachment is said to be the means. Yes, for to the sage who is already elevated in yoga, tranquility in meditation is said to be the means. That makes sense. Okay, so. Um, in verse chapter 3, verse 3, Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna had mentioned that there are two paths to attaining spiritual enlightenment. One is the path of contemplation, karma sanyas, and one is the path of action. Between said these, he recommended to follow the path of action. Right? He's recommending it to someone as elevated as Arjun, just so you know, like we are nothing compared to that. 
again in chapter 5 verse 2 he he declared it to be the better path so this is twice now he said it's the better path so does this mean we must keep doing work all our lives so anticipating such a question he sets the limits for it when we perform karm yog it leads to purification of the mind and ripening of spiritual knowledge then we can leave karm yog and take to karm sanyas now material activities don't serve any purpose because we've already purified so we get to the place of purification through karm yog so the path we must follow filters down to a matter of our eligibility and for those who are aspiring for yoga which is union with god karma yoga is more su- suitable those who are already elevated then you follow karma sanyas and then he says yoga refers to both the goal and the process so when it's the goal we say union with god when it's the process we mean path to union with god so the path to union with god is where this thing is yoga rukshu is uh, who those, those those who are exp- aspiring and just begun climbing the ladder and yoga rud are those who have become elevated now the next he says how do we understand when one is elevated he explains it like how do we know when we are ready to leave the karm yoga and get to sar karm sanyas how do we know that and he explains it in the next chapter okay so that's it for this video uh, wish you a day filled with spiritual growth we'll do chapter 6 verse 4 in the next video radhe radhe